Let's talk about custom request objects in Laravel. If we go to our categories controller, you realize that in the store method, we are first of all validating the data. Then we are creating a new instance. Oh, and this is not supposed to be here, right? Then we are creating a new category, flashing to the session and redirecting the user. But this is not what we want. What we want to do is simply create a category flash and then return redirect. We can validate the user on the custom request. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to make a new class. So I'm going to say php adsan make request. And this is going to be called create category request. And if we check our request folder right now, so app http request, you can see a new php class called create category request. Now it extends from request. The first thing we see is an authorized method. By default, this is false. It returns false. And the next thing we do is we see a method called rules. And what happens is for the create category request, we can define the validation rules right here so that we don't have to do it in our controllers. And secondly, if we need to authorize this request, for example, this should only be done by administration users or maybe only users in a specific category we can do that here if we also want to you know authorize to make sure that the user is coming from a specific domain or from a specific country we can do that here okay and this all can be done in your request class now this is very important so that your controllers always stay very clean for example, right now, I'm going to take this array of validation rules and I'm going to come to my request object and return this array instead. So in the rules function, I'm going to return my array of validation rules. Okay. Then I'm going to completely delete this. And then instead of receiving an instance of request from Laravel, I'm going to use my controller request right here or my create category request. So use app http request and create category request right there okay so here instead of request i'm gonna say i need create category request and laval is automatically going to inject an instance of this request and then once it injects that request it's going to find out it has a rules method and it's going to automatically validate this request Okay, so that everything that has to do with this request is kept in this class and not in the controller. And now look at how easy or simple a controller looks. Okay, so if we come back to application and refresh, add a new category, maybe called broadcast, we can see this action is unauthorized. Okay. A very clean message that tells us we are not authorized and that's because in the request class we are returning false in this case we just want to return true for the moment but I'm gonna show you how to authorize and I'm also gonna show you how to use what we call middleware to make sure only locked in users perform specific actions okay so I'm gonna go home and then click on categories ah our categories link doesn't work yet so Let's go to our app.blade.php, which is in our layouts folder, and make sure that this actually links to the categories route. And we're going to simply put in route categories.index. Okay, so if we refresh, click on this, great, it takes us to the categories page. I'm going to add one, and I'm just going to call this badcast, click on add category. And great, it works exactly as expected. But now we are using a new request object. Okay, request object are really gonna make your application clean. So, for example, you could do crazy interesting stuff like make sure the user is authenticated or make sure the user is actually subscribed to a payment plan before viewing a specific post or stuff like that. Okay, so this is your introduction to request objects. So instead of injecting an instance of Illuminate HTTP request, you get an instance of your custom request right here and you can modify it however you like. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you up in the very next lesson.